Hey, this is Magnar, and welcome to my modern tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this tutorial, it's all about stats. Uh, how to change, at the start, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to change which stats to pl display for which unit, so you can kind of go in there and edit that. Uh, also, how to change the name of what those stats are called. Uh, and finally, uh, how to change the, the value of each stat. Uh, so let's just jump straight on into it. So I'm going to go to the DB table and I'm going to add the tables that we firstly need. Actually, maybe I'll just show them to you in uh, the data at Rome 2 pack first and then we can add them in. Okay, so the first table we need is the UI unit stats down the bottom. Go to DB first, then down, down, down. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. UI unit stats tables. So if you look in there, you can see we have all these stats here, 29 different stats. Acceleration, charge speed, deceleration, spotting range, accuracy, ammo, armor. Uh, you can read them yourself. Uh, then we have an on-screen name which does nothing. Because as we, with all the other tutorials, all the text for anything that's displayed uh, is done in the local EN pack. Where is it? These two packs don't do anything to do with text. So later on, we'll be getting the text file out of there and adding it, and then we can edit it. Uh, the max value is pretty self-explanatory. So speed has a value from 0 to, well, default 12. Same with ship speed. But you can change this, and so that, you know, just it uh, changes the value of the bar for that stat. Uh, then we have the sort order which is to do with uh, ha where it displays on um, the units blah. yeah the unit display on the bottom left corner when you when you look at the unit details you can see all the stats and which order they're in. Okay so and after that so that's just the basic stuff these are all the different stats that we have and some uh, basic information for them. And then you can create <coughs> uh, stat sets uh, to assign to different types of units. So if we look in here, it's all assigned to the class. So you've got unit class is assigned to the, in the land units table, and um, we've already got that in this uh, pack. And then we can assign different stats to each class, and we can give them an order, so, so we can say which um, order they appear. So we want ammo to be first, put one there, okay. Self-explanatory I think. Okay, um, I think you've got a filter there if it's uh, depending on what, I don't even know if they're used, yeah. Filters aren't actually used but they're there. I don't know if they work. I'm not going to use them in this tutorial. You can uh, test them out if you like. Maybe you can have different stats for a unit if it's on a naval ship or not. Okay, so let's uh, jump in there and add all those tables. So we're going to right-click, Add from Pack, go to the Data Room 2, and we're just going to add these two tables here. So hang on, what's this one do? Ah, don't worry about that. Okay, Database, scroll down, uh, Unit Stats, and Unit Stat to Classes. They're the two we want. Okay, now we save that. And we can uh, rename them. Well, we not can, we should. So let's go mag underscore tute. Okay, and also for the other one, do the same. Mag underscore tute. Let's save that. Okay, so let's uh, change these around a little bit just to show you how they work. And let's say we'll make stat speed up to. I'll just do one. I'll just I'll do stat speed and make it up to. 100. No, not 100. That's too much. Maybe 50. It's also too much. Mm, mm, I don't know. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so the stat speed now 50. You got another column here, which is whether it's only for the campaign or not. So if you only want stats to display in campaign and not on the battlefield, then you can use tick that box. Okay, so we've done speed, and now I'm going to change the class, uh, the stat display for one of the classes that we're using. Um, so which one are we using here? We're using a class. Okay, so we'll do it for this unit, the Greek Hoplites Mag Chute. 
and the class is in spear. So I'm going to change that class's uh, display. So actually, I'm not going to. I have to rename this back to vanilla because I'm actually deleting everything except for. Well, what did we edit here? Everything except for the stat speed. So I'm going to just do a quick filter oh, for unit class. Infantry spear. And the only one I want to have is speed, which isn't there. So let's uh, add that speed in first, and then we can. So I'll copy that. Let's go redo this again. Okay, in spear, filter it out. So let's uh, copy that there, and delete all the other ones by clicking on the uh, the number on the far left, the little button there. You can click. Now, only speed will show for this unit in its st stat. Did that work? Imp spear. Yeah, it worked. All good. Okay, but before we do that, let's go and change what speed is uh, in the text. So we're going to go into our text down here. If you don't have it, you have to create the directory. Uh, and then we're going to right click on the DB and add from pack again. And we're going to go to that local EN. Um, if you don't have English, it won't be EN, it'll be local, I don't know, RU for Russian maybe? I don't, I don't actually know what the different letters are that replace EN, but I can guess. Okay, so but I'm not sure which of these local EN packs I want to add uh, from, so I'm going to quickly go in and have a, a look where they are. I'm not sure, it could be in one of these two. Okay. I'm also looking here as well. Okay, not land units, I'm going to have stats. Unit abilities, UI, unit stats, here we go. Oh, cancel that. Okay, so if we look in here, we scroll down, we should be able to find speed somewhere. Let's sort by that. I sort by this because then I can get the on-screen name, all sorted. So speed will be... Where is speed? Scalar. That speed here it is. So I can go. Okay, I'm gonna add that, change that, and I can also change what it says about speed. Uh, here. Okay, so I'm gonna add those two. Now we know which pack it's in. It may actually be in both packs, but yeah. If I found it in this one, I'm gonna take it from this one. Okay, text. UI. UI unit stats. Okay. So you just double click it to add it when you're not adding a whole folder, you're adding just a single file. Now I'm going to save it and rename it again. Mag, shoot. Okay, I only want to ha only want to have the speed, so I'm going to delete everything else. I don't want to have that in my folder because if it gets changed in a patch, uh, I don't want, I don't want the old stuff to be overriding it. I want to be able to just uh, okay, and everything else except for the tooltip for speed as well. So we should only have two entries there because that's all we're editing for speed. And now I'm going to change speed to. What can I change it to? Ah, swiftness, as an example. How quickly they can get the hell out of trouble or something like that there we go save that okay before we jump in there and uh, check all this out let's go and deal with uh, unit stats and how to change uh, the values of unit stats now I've reverted back to this old older pack with not as many database tables as we've been using uh, so I'm not going to be able to show you all in this pack. I'm going to actually just go into, well, we'll start off in this pack with land units. Um, now, unit stats are found all over the place, really. They're not only in this in one table. Uh, they're, they're kind of combinations from different tables. Uh, in this table, in the land units table, we have the unit stats for accuracy, ammunition, uh, charge bonus. Now, that, that is a bonus. There is a base charge damage. Uh, and I think there's also a damage done from the speed and the mass and all that kind of stuff. This is just additional damage on top of that. Uh, then you've got dismounted, attack, melee, defense, 
uh, and also dismounted charge. Let me go across further, and you've got just normal melee attack, melee defense, morale is also here. Uh, there's also base morale, so I'm not sure if this is added to the base morale or it is, um, or the base morale is maybe just ignored. But uh, that's morale there. And then we have uh, bonus hit points. These are, in fact, added to the base hit points. Okay, we, we can check the morale when we log when we go in to load it up. So currently it's 55. The default for base morale is a 30. Um, I'll show you where that's set later on. Okay, so bonus hit points 15. Uh, so that's for stats. And then we've got you can change the default rank depth. So how it would probably be how the AI uses the unit. So rank depth is the number of rows when the unit is formed. Um, so if you've got 10 units, 10 men in a unit and you have a rank depth of 10, there will be one column of 10 men. Um, then you go over further, you've got to do with visibility and spotting, and uh, spot distance here as well for different types of terrain, trees and scrubs, and hiding scaler. I'm not sure what hiding scaler is. I think it, maybe it's how well uh, the unit can hide in um, trees and grass and such. Uh, you've also got a reload stat here, how quickly the unit reloads. Uh, the higher the number, the better. Same with here, the ammunition, the higher the number, the better. You can test that out by looking at um, the Data Run 2 pack and looking at the vanilla uh, units, and you'll see that they're more experienced units. Uh, if it wants to load, okay. Now we have to come in here anyway to do the rest of the stats. Okay, but before we do, let's jump into main units. Now main units has some other stats, but these aren't. These are to do with the campaign side of things. So land units deals with the battle side of the stats. Main units deals with the campaign side of stats, and that is things like uh, the number of men in a unit, the multiplayer stuff as well. Multiplayer, how much it costs in multiplayer, uh, number of ships. Recruitment cost is here, uh, and then you've got upkeep cost here. You've got stuff to do with caps, but that's uh, that's not really unit stats, is it? Um, yeah, so that's in main units, and then we can go into the data room too, which I've just opened up, and we can have a look at all the other stats. Okay, let's go into land units first, just to show you the. Uh, okay. So accuracy, you can see uh, higher is better. And then we want to go over to reload. Okay, so reload, let's find two comparable units, comparable units, like a, what's a good comparable unit? Egyptian archers versus Reload of 13 versus what's this unit? Galatian Gaelic Hunters have 30 reload. What's another one? Slingers with... Okay, Cantab Barrack Slingers probably have the best. Alright, and they've got 23, whereas the lesser Slingers have 28. So, oh, okay. So the lower is better. I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> anyway, always good to check against vanilla just to make sure. Um, okay, so the rest of the stats, these are the base stats for the unit, uh, and then you have stats for entities. Okay, so we've got, if we go to battle entities table, we have a bunch more stats there. So let's find it, battle entities, there it is. Okay, so these, each unit is assigned an entity in the land units table. Uh, and each entity is assigned a number of stats. So you've got walk speed, run speed, the acceleration and deceleration, the charging speed, crawl speed. I could keep reading them, uh, but I probably won't. A bunch more stats here, and they're all assigned directly to the unit. Uh, your mass, which comes into account with uh, when units charge into each other and how far they push the other one back and how much penetration they get. Um, Firing arc, turning speed, that's, they're all pretty self-explanatory. And these are the base hit points here. 
So each unit has a different base hit point depending on what kind of unit it is. And you've got some other stuff down here, minimum turning speed and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's where, and that is assigned to the land units table uh, to the entity. So you'll have man entity um, is where that is assigned. So you can see these all, all these keys exist in the battle entities table. Now, in the land units table, you'll, we also it also references other tables. So we have an armor table where it's just a, a name. Um, this corresponds to a series of stats for that armor. Uh, the same thing goes for the weapons, primary melee weapon, primary missile weapon. They also go to other tables, uh, which deal with the stats for those specific weapons, as with the shield again. Uh, and I think that's about it. Yes. So now we can go and check out those tables just quickly. I mean, I, I go into a bit more on those tables and how to edit them in other uh tutorials focused on those kind of tables but uh, uh, this is just a quick summary tutorial here uh, so if we go down to unit armor types we can check out the different armor and how, what stats they have so you've got armor value right? This, these two columns don't do anything so no point to use them this is the key that's used in the land units table and the audio material is just how it sounds when it's hit uh, then we have shields shield type tables, unit shield types tables, uh, and we have again the key which is used in the land units table. Then it adds a defense value, defense being your chance to uh, avoid getting hit. It can add an armor value as well, um, which is added to the front or the left of the unit when it's attacked or fired upon by missiles. And this column on the right is all to do with missile block chance. So that will block 20% of all incoming missiles. The audio material is again like the armor to do with the sound you hear when it's hit. Okay, well the other ones, we've got weapons tables. So unit weapons, no, melee weapons it's called. It's not called unit weapons. Uh, so if we go to melee, melee weapons tables. You can see a few more stats here, actually. Uh, I haven't tested whether these armor-piercing and armor-penetrating values work. I'm assuming they probably do. Then we've got bonus versus elephants, bonus versus cavalry, and bonus versus infantry. Um, some mods rename these to bonus, uh, or to, maybe they rename it to, I think Divide It and Para, they rename the AP damage to deadliness or something like that. But it's not a new stat, it's just a renamed uh, vanilla stat, so it's not armor piercing damage. Okay, so you've got all these bonus versus different types of entities, which you saw in the battle entities table. You have the key, which is assigned in the land units table, and then we have your base damage. Base damage is reduced depending on the uh, amount of armor that the unit has that, that it's hitting. Uh, AP damage ignores all the armor. First strike, I'm not sure it does anything. Uh, weapon length, I'm not sure if it does anything either. I, I did some tests with it, I couldn't really see much of a difference. I still have to test it a bit more to confirm whether either of these actually work. Uh, and I have no idea whether the shield piercing works. You can test that out as well. Uh, audio material again is something like we've done with the other few tables. And weapon type, I'm not sure of the impact of that. <laughs> I've never actually it's pretty self-explanatory which one I use for which, so I don't really try to experiment with uh, putting a sword type for an axe animation uh, for an axe uh, weapon type. It doesn't actually affect anything to do with the animation, so I don't really yeah use it. Okay, so there's melee weapons, and lastly we've got missile weapons, primary missile weapons. Now the stats for missile weapons are not actually done in the missile weapons table. So if we look at missile weapons tables. Uh, there's no stats here. Where the stats are done is all on the projectiles table. So what the what type of missile the missile weapon is shooting. Because the bow doesn't do the damage, the arrow does the damage. Um, 
And so to find out what that is, you look at this table here, the missile weapons to projectiles table. And we can have a look at a bow, for instance. You see it's got three types of projectiles. Each one will have their own uh, stats. And that's all in the projectiles table. Projectiles tables. Okay, so here we can see the key, which is assigned in that table we just looked at. The type of weapon, arrow or artillery or stone or miscellaneous, whatever. Um, shot type, but the, these, these are just kind of other thing, things which don't affect stats specifically. These are, can be quite visual things as well. Uh, number of projectiles per shot. Trajectory sight, uh, so you can have things which shoot really high up in the air. Uh, the range of, the, of the each projectile. Uh, again, minimum range. It doesn't have to be there, but it can. So that, say, a catapult can't shoot one meter. It has to shoot further. Uh, elevation can help if you change this. You know, you can make it so that certain weapons can't fire very high and therefore might hit the enemy, your own guys in the back if you use it incorrectly. Muzzle velocity is the speed that it leaves the, uh, the weapon, the missile weapon. Uh, marksmanship bonus is a, bo a bonus to the amount of accuracy that, the un that each unit has. Uh, I'm not sure about spread. I haven't used it. Damage is just like a damage and AP damage are just like with um, the melee weapons table. Uh, incendiary is the chance to like catch on fire when it's well. It, it allows it to be on fire and then <coughs> light other entities up. Uh, penetration I haven't really looked at. Air resistance is. Uh, you wouldn't want to use that for smaller weapons. Uh, that really, you know, that just, um, yeah, I don't know how to explain that. It puts, a, it, it kind of changes the way that the, the units don't really aim when it's got air resistance. Uh, it's like they, they throw, I tried air resistance with a throwing weapon from 20 meters away and like 90% of them just fell short. Uh, can bounce, that's obvious. Collision radius is how far away from the, en the the entity it's trying to hit it has to be. These all these numbers are all in meters, by the way. Uh, not not reload time, of course, but uh, the collision radius. This is all in meters. Um, there's a base reload time for weapons, so we saw the reload stat on the, each unit, but that's also affected by what type of uh, we ammunition or what type of projectile is being used. Um, calibration. Okay, this calibration distance is to do with uh, from what distance onward does the weapon start to become inaccurate uh, and calibration area is to do with how inaccurate that weapon is uh, so that's like the bigger the number the worse it's I think I think it's meters squared possibly or something like that uh, for how sp how far spread it is so most uh, arrows and slings and such I think have like one meter a uh, one but uh, you can increase that of course where they'll still be accurate from relatively close, but will be fairly inaccurate from further away. Again, we have the three bonus stats, just like with melee weapons. And finally, there's a shockwave radius. Minus one means there's no shockwave. It doesn't mean it has a negative shock shockwave. Uh, and that's pretty much all there is to stats. So let's um, load up, not this one. Let's load up our pack that we've been working with and uh, change the stat with and check that out in game. Okay, here we have our uh, unit, tutorial unit, and only one stat as we changed. Uh, you can see that the bar, well this unit has three swiftness as we change the name. You can hover over it, how quickly the unit, they can get the hell out of trouble. That's also changed text. And the increased bar to 50, so three is a very small part of that. And that's how you deal with stats. Uh, if you want to know more in detail about stats, uh, check out the um, various tutorials on it, such as the armor, uh, weapons tutorial, or the projectile tutorial. Might be some more info in there you might be interested in. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time.